This video is sponsored by Blade & Soul Revolution. It's a martial arts open world RPG. First introduced seven years ago on PC as Blade & Soul, you can now enjoy the game on mobile. It features an epic storyline featuring over eight years of original PC content on mobile for the first time with a vast and vibrant open world. Join your friends and create powerful joint attacks during boss dungeon fights, gather in villages together to form societies, and clash between two great factions. Up to 500 players per server can participate in the ultimate struggle for power. Download the game using the link in the description below. Time to try 18 different types of Triscuits. I like Triscuits. They're, you know, not like the snack I go for immediately in the snack aisle, but I, I like them fine. Uh, am I going to like 18 of them in a row? That's, uh... That's a good question. First off, we have uh, original uh, made with sea salt. Now, if you're not familiar with what Triscuits are, they are uh, these sort of wheat crackers. Like, yeah, I guess almost like shredded wheat crackers. All right. Who gets plain Triscuits? I mean, they're fine. Like, I like flavored Triscuits. These are fine. They taste, you know, they're just like salty wheat, <laughs> but the the texture's good. A little, a little dry. A little, you know. These are definitely begging for like some kind of spread or some dip. Um, I'm gonna say at a baseline C tier. I think they're totally fine, but I'm dying for some flavor. The reduced fat, 25% uh, less fat than original Triscuits. Let's see how they compare. Okay. Oh. Yeah, okay. You never notice the fat till it's gone. There was a richness in original Triscuits I didn't know was there until it's gone. This is like um, the saltine crackers of Triscuits, the dry toast of Triscuits, D tier. Well, why don't we try Thin Crisps, original Thin Crisps. Maybe these are a little more, I don't know, palatable. Palatable. They shape like triangles. Yep, they're definitely thinner. Do they taste any different? No. It's really all texture, right? They're just thin, thinner, less wheat, crispier. Um, do I like these better? No. They're just kind of the same. Same flavor, same, same texture, just slightly thinner. C tier. Oh boy, here's Hint of Sea Salt, a low-sodium choice. It's like if you started a farm in the desert, let all the crops die, and turn that into a cracker. It's very dry, and there's no salt. This is crying out for some kind of cream cheese or hummus or something. F tier, I don't. Okay, we're moving on to flavor. Take me to flavor time, please. First off, we have roasted garlic. That sounds tasty. Obviously, since I just ate one that had no salt, this tastes very salty, but what I kind of wish this had was the sweetness of roasted garlic. Roasted garlic is not only savory, but sweet. And this has no sweetness. This is just like if you took a Triscuit and dunked it in like garlic salt. Pretty flat flavor. Honestly, pretty disappointing because whenever I hear roasted garlic uh, in a flavor, I'm expecting a little more nuance, right? This is a C tier. These are, they, they at least make me feel like I'm alive in terms of some sort of flavor sensation on my tongue, but it's still just salt. It's just salt and garlic salt. Next up, we have rosemary and olive oil. These, I feel like, are a little more subdued. The rosemary is very present. It's like I'm licking a rosemary canister. But maybe the olive oil, for some reason, makes it a little more subdued, I think. I'm not, I'm not like, you know, going, oh shit, these are fucking delicious. You know, I still think this is like a C tier, but um, they're pleasant. This would go really well with like, um, like tomato or something. Like, I get that, you know, Triscuits, a lot of people, you know, you get Triscuits to put stuff on them. Um, but I'm just trying to judge them on their own. And as this is, it's pleasant enough. 
I, I, I gotta say, I'm not like a huge rosemary head or anything. It's not like I'm crazy about it, but these are, you know, they're, they're decent. All right, smoked Gouda. Please don't be a salt lick. Okay. Surprisingly subdued. The smoke is what you taste the most. You know, that smokiness. There's a low savory profile of the cheese underneath that. Not that salty. So this is almost like, I want some flavor, right? Pretty subtle. Still C tier, but I also don't mind it. <laughs> Are these all gonna be C tier? Okay, um, here we have balsamic vinegar and basil. Now if this doesn't taste sweet, I'm gonna go crazy. Here we go. Here we fucking go. That's good, that's good, I like these. In fact, I've been searching for any sort of interesting flavors, so I'm gonna give these an A tier. Yeah, there's a nice, sweet, sort of vibrant balsamic vinegar flavor. There's basil there as well. Really love the tang of that vinegar, but it's sweet, a little bit savory. God, just anything that's not salt and death. Next up, we have avocado, cilantro, and lime. I'm very curious how avocado is gonna come across here. These are good. These have like a smooth savoriness. Again, not too salty like those fucking garlic ones. Got a smooth savory, like the lime adds a nice little bit of a hint of sweetness, but it's not overwhelming like a lot of like lime snacks for me. Cilantro, yeah, I guess there's a little bit, but it's more just like this smooth sort of like zesty savoriness, a little bit of sweetness. Kind of almost like, um, not Cool Ranch, but like a very subtle version of that. B, B tier. These are good. Fire roasted tomato and olive oil. Let's hope these are not salt bombs and are sweet. How do you fuck these up? How do you fuck these up? Just make them taste like pizza or something. This is so strange. You know, with tomato flavored snacks, usually it's just like a nice, you know, sweetness, maybe a little, you know, some spices, but just a nice tomato sweetness. It's so easy. It's so easy to do a good tomato flavored snack. This is like if you took the scent of ketchup and sprayed it in like a bottle and then just sprayed the air and then you tasted that. It's not even a whisper of tomato, it's a whisper of ketchup, which is even worse. Uh, D tier. I don't like these. Cracked pepper and olive oil. Back to bland town, baby. There was at least a hint of black pepper. The, the faintest sensation of feeling. I better take like an amazing shit after this. I don't know, D? Like... More, put more black pepper, and also these need some salt. Which is ironic, considering how much I've been complaining about how, how salty they are, but... If you're gonna go with the salt and pepper route, put some more salt on there. Okay, dill, sea salt, and olive oil. I don't have high expectations. I like dill, but I don't think these are gonna taste like anything. I'm wrong. These are pretty good. There's enough dill where it's present. It's pleasant. I love dill. So it's got that nice dill aftertaste, you know, a little bit pickly a little bit. And then it has just enough salt, but not too salty. I think these olive oil ones tend to be okay. Um, not overly salted. Yeah, uh, the dill really makes this good. Uh, B tier. Not amazing by any means, but good to good good snacking let's go back circle back let's do some organic ones because i don't i don't think these are gonna be good organic made with sea salt original hmm that's really interesting i like these way better if the other one if the original are made of like almost like a darker bread tasting thing this is almost like a golden, golden white, like almost like a corn checks, rice checks almost thing. A lighter taste, but they're almost like kind of buttery. And yeah, like a more, I don't know, like less, 
less dense as well. These are good. In fact, they're such an improvement, I'm going to say B tier over the originals. Alright, well, let's try the Thin Crisps then. Or organic Thin Crisps original. Okay. This is good. B tier. They're basically the same thing, just less wheat, thinner. Good. Now let's try the organic Triscuit. Cracked pepper and olive oil. The organic wheat lets the flavors shine through more. If you really like that real, like, like overbearing taste of wheat, you're gonna want the originals. If you want something lighter, um, but still has a good crisp and a good flavor, but now I can really taste the pepper. These are good, B tier. Like, damn, these organic ones are considerably better. In fact, I wish all of these were organic because these taste way better. Let's try Triscuit made with chia seeds, rosemary, and jalapeno. I don't like to see anything, but... Mmm. Okay, so I don't give a shit about the seeds. I don't notice them at all. But the flavor of these is great. It's like a sweet jalapeno. Like, it's got a nice little heat, vibrant, savory flavor. Not that much rosemary. Like, I think the rosemary goes really well with it. It, like, combines for a nice overall sort of mellow, sweet, savory jalapeno flavor. Uh, chia seeds, I, I, I don't know. I don't recognize them in here, but yeah, these are great. S tier, just on the Triscuit scale. Wow. Let's try Triscuit woven with poppy seeds, garlic, and onion. Very interesting. These have an immediate, like, whoa, sort of like poppy seed flavor. That almost like Slightly bitter, slightly, yeah, slightly bitter edge, but in a, in a, in not an unwelcome way. The garlic and onion is pretty good, a little more subdued, like kind of sweet, savory, garlicky. But yeah, that poppy seed is bam in your face. Like you taste these poppy seeds. I, I, I like it. It's, it reminds me of like a good bagel, actually. I'm gonna say B tier, B for bagel. And finally, I feel like I've eaten a loaf of bread at this point. Uh, it's time for Triscuits woven with quinoa seeds, basil, and garlic. Mmm. You can see the seeds in there. You know, inoffensive. Pretty good. Like, the basil is there. Kind of gives you... It's, it's very much kind of like the rosemary ones. The rosemary ones had a nice present. You know, aromatic flavor. The basil is there. The garlic, I wish there was more of. It's mainly just basil for me. Quinoa seeds, I don't really taste or notice in texture. But yeah, just um, nice, you know, fresh tasting aromatic basil. Uh, B tier, B for basil. All right, that was 18 Triscuit crackers. Um, I think most of them are very bland. Uh, they're dry as fuck, but, you know, it, yeah, it, it felt like I was eating... A whole lot of cardboard. Some of it was good though. I am going to go take a shit that is probably going to be woven like wheat. It's probably going to be in the shape of a Triscuit. And, but I hope all this uh, fiber will, uh, will make it a nice, a nice Triscuit shaped shit, shit. A nice Triscuit shaped shit. That'll be fun. Alright. That was it for this one. Bye.